In today's video I'm making an adapter so I can fit my camera onto the lathe to try and get some better shots. The adapter consists of a bar of steel and on one end it has a quarter of an inch BSW thread stud and on the other end it has a hole drilled for a 3 8 BSW. So let's go into the workshop and see how we do it. What I want to do today is make an attachment so I can take my head off the tripod and then using the thread in the bottom fit this somewhere on the lathe so I can take films from the operator's position this will swivel up and down and left and right and the camera mount is on the top here And what I need to do is fit that about that height so that it can look down on the tool or the part being machined to get a better view. So I did do a test piece in one video where I used this clamp on the end of the slide here and the camera was mounted on this. But I'm a bit concerned about this because it's only plastic and if this fails my camera falls on the floor so I wanted to make something a bit more permanent now what I've noticed on the tool posts is there are two obviously tool locations normally this one is at the front I've turned it round with the second tool location at the back and I thought now if I can use this tool holder to hold the camera that would be a bit more substantial than a plastic clamp. So I want the camera tripod top or head so that I can look down on the tool being used and held about there. Now most cameras or threads in the camera, tripods and other accessories of a camera are in, I think they're quarter BSW or 3.8 BSW so what I want to do I have a piece of steel which will fit into the tool holder and I can clamp that solid to the tool this I've drilled a 3.8 hole in so what I want to make is a spacer something like this with a tool in the bottom, tapped 3.8 BSW which will bolt on there and a stud on the top that's a quarter BSW so that my tripod head will screw on there and that will be about the right position for, I'll bring it down there, it'll be about the right height for looking at the tool. The first thing I need to do is put this in the chuck, machine this, drill out hole tapping size for 3.8 BSW and tap 3.8 BSW thread in the end. So the tapping size for a 3.8 BSW is 5.16. Well, it's been a long time since I've used Imperial drills but this is a 5.16 Imperial drill with a number one Morse taper so I need an adapter from number one to number two so I can fit this in my tailstock. 
it already has a hole drilled in the centre so I can just open that up with that drill. And I need to go about half inch deep. the sink there to give the tap a lead in. Now on this tap there is a centre hole in the bottom so I can put the tap in and bring in the spring loaded centre for holding the tap central and then turn the chuck some oil See on the second tap there's no centre or even cone to guide it so I'll just have to start it off, let it align itself. This is the screw I'm going to use to hold it. It's just like it's used off a camera mount. So that's the quarter BSW and the 38 BSW. And that's the bar I want to hold it on. So that will should go through there. And this bit should just lock it in position, which it does. So that's okay for that end. Turn it round and start on the other end to produce the quarter BSW half inch long. Now this end's already has an hole in there, so I'll take this off and then do half inch from the face that I produce.
give it a sound. I've put my die holder in the tailstock and fitted a quarter BSW die. up to the face. And all I need to do is take this sharp corner off. I'll use a file to just round that off and then machine some of this here just to clean it up and make it run through. Put the tool holder on, tighten the top up, then place the, the bar and the tool post. Tighten that up. Bolt goes through, that screws onto the top. Up. Then this moves the camera. So we'll see what sort of pictures we get with that.
Well, it looks as if I've got a slight bit of vibration and the camera seems to have problems holding the focus. So I'll have to work on that. Well, that's it for today. Hope you found that useful. And if you did, why not subscribe? And we'll see you next time on Enox Engineering.